Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Hey, good morning. You caught me reading about owls again. I'm so glad you're here with me this morning. I'm Mrs. Hammock. Welcome back to our first grade PBS classroom. This is another informational story about owls, animal predators. There's actually a whole series of animal predator books. And I think what I love the most about them is the photographs. They are so beautiful. Here's a picture of a barn owl. Do you see his feet stretched out like that? Did you know that owls hunt with their feet? Those feet are called talons, and they're like giant, long, sharp fingernails. And they fly silently with all of their feathers, and then they find something to eat, and they swoop down, and they snatch it up with their claws, their talons. Isn't that cool? Here's another great picture. You can see he's swooping in to catch his dinner. Ooh, kind of creepy, but also really cool. Aren't you glad you don't catch your dinner with your feet? That would be strange. But owls are amazing, and you can learn all about them. This book is by Sandra Markle, and I hope you might think about looking at this book either on Sora or your public library. So enjoy some good reading about owls. And you know what? If you are reading about owls, I would love to know something that you've learned about them. You could send me a letter or a picture of something you've learned about owls right here at our PBS classroom. Or if you're reading about something else that's interesting that you want me to know about, I would love to know what you're reading. So you can send it right here to our PBS classroom and I'll share it with our friends that watch every morning. So make sure you do that. All right, it's time for us to warm up our brains. Are you ready? Give it a little tap. You've been doing a great job training your ears. And so today, because it's Friday, you know when we train our ears, we play two games on Fridays. We play the blending game and the segmenting game. So when we blend, I'm gonna tell you sounds and you're going to blend them together to make a word. And then we're going to do it in reverse. I'm gonna tell you the word and you're gonna break it apart. You're going to segment it or put it into small pieces, the sounds. You ready to try it? Okay, here's our first word. Ready? Ha, ah, n, d. Blend it together. Hand. Good job. All right, next one. L, a, s, t. Last. Good for you, good blending. That's one of the most important skills that we learn in first grade because it helps us to read. All right, now it's time for you to do it in reverse. We're gonna segment, all right? Okay, the word is pest, pest. Okay, let's do it. What's that first sound? P, eh, and then what's that ending sound? St, good job, p, eh, st. Pest, four sounds. All right, here we go. The next one, spend. Ooh, listen closely. Spend. Sp, e, n, d. Wow, that one had five sounds. It had a beginning blend and an ending blend. Great job segmenting. All right, it's time for our fluency practice. You ready? We're going to practice our sound spelling cards. Remember to say them nice and loud and get them locked in. You might even write them down. L, lemon, l. R, rose, r. S, sun, s. T, turtle, t. U, umbrella, ah. Uh. I, insect, I. E, egg, e. A, apple, a. 
and O, octopus, ah. All right, and now time for some of our beginning blends. CR says cr. FR says fr. TR says tr. FL fl. PL pl. BL bl. SL sl. SN sn. And CL cl. How'd you do? Good for you. You're getting really good at that. All right, we're going to blend some words together today, just like we always do. And it's a reminder that when you know how to sound out one word, that you can do many words that are similar. So let's isolate first. B, a, m, p, bump, bump. How'd you do? Good job. All right, let's change the beginning sound to j. So if I have bump and I change the beginning sound to j, now I have jump, jump. Good. Let's change the beginning sound again. Let's see what it is if I change it to the l sound. Ready? L -ump. Lump. Did you get it? Great. Okay, but what if I change lump and I change the uh to an ah? What do you think that one is? Let's try it. Lamp. Lamp. Great reading. All right, one last one. It's really hard. I don't know. I'm going to try to trick you. What? I can't trick you? I think you're right. I don't think I can trick you. Here we go. St, a, mp. Blend it. Stamp, stamp. You were right. I can't trick you. You're too smart. Give your brain a kiss. It's working very hard. All right. We've been working on ending blends. FT as in gift. ST as in nest. NK as in drink, MP as in lamp, SK as in mask, SP as in grasp, ND as in pond, and NT as in plant. So it's Friday and I have a new story for us. So we're going to read this story together. It's called Stan is Last. I'm going to move my pen over here, get my reading finger and I want you to help me. Here we go. Min can run fast. Min runs fast on the grass. Stan grins, jumps up, and runs. Let's read that again. Stan grins, jumps up, and runs. Min grins and runs past. Stan comes in last. Wow. So it sounds like Stan and Min are having a little bit of a contest about running. Did you see some words in there that have our ending blend? Oh, yes. You're right. Last and fast. Good job. Here's another fast. How about jumps? Jumps. Any more? Yep. Past and last. Good job. You did a great job reading that story with me. Now, another thing we've been working on this week is, ready? Inflectional endings. Remember that an inflectional ending is added to the end of a word, and when we add ing to the end of a word, it means it's happening right now. So we're going to use our word chart <clears throat> and build a couple of words as a practice and reminder. All right, if I have stamp and I add ing, what is my word now? Stamping, good job. If I have plant and I add 
ing. What is my word now? Plant ing. Good job. Do you see how stamp is one beat or one syllable? But when I add ing, now I have stamp ing. It adds a whole nother syllable. How about plant? Plant. Good job. But when I add ing, now I have plant ing. It adds another syllable. That helps us when we're chunking our words to sound them out, to write them, if we can break them into syllables. And if you remember that ing says ing, you're going to get it every time. Good job. All right. We're going to review our high frequency words and then we're going to write a sentence together. So we better get going. Eat. E A T. Eat. Under. U N D E R. Under. Who. W H O. Who. Of. O F. And no. N O. All right. Are you ready to write with me? Okay. This is kind of tricky. Let me get my writing paper up here so we can see it. All right, our, our sentence for today that uses our high frequency words is, who went under the desk? Okay, so five words. What is our first word? Who, that's one of our high frequency words. It's also a question word. So, okay, hold on to that because that's a clue. Who, we need to make a capital W because it's the first word of our sentence. So. Who, all right, we got who, went, all right, let's sound it out, even though that's one of our freak, high frequency words from before, went, oh, and look, it has a blend. Who went under, okay, let's sound it out. Do we need to sound it out? Oh, you're right, I thought I could trick you. But you're right, it's a high frequency word, which is why we don't sound it out. We just need to know them as fast as we know our name. Who went under, who went under the, that's a kindergarten word, T-H-E spells the. Who went under the desk, desk. All right, now, so we have to sound this one out. So let's do it, d e Sk. What's that first sound? D. Right. D. D. E. Good. That's the short E like egg. D. E. Sk. There's our blend. Who went under the desk? Now remember I said it's a question word. So what do you think we're going to put at the end? Yes. A question mark. Wow. You've learned a lot this week. Will you come back next week and learn some more with me? Goodbye now, goodbye now. The clock says we're done. I'll see you next week. Goodbye, everyone. Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun.